Hello guys, this is Alex and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing chapter 3 and chapter 4 of Breaking Point. Uh, we did chapter 1 and 2 yesterday, which is posted on my channel. So if you, haven't, if you haven't seen that yet, I'd recommend you watch that just so you're up to date with what's going on. But yeah, here we go. Going into Breaking Point. So chapter 3. The recent series of his incidents with his teammate Casper Ackerman, both on and off the track of mayor the start of Aidan Jackson's rookie F1 season. With the French Grand Prix coming up, Jackson is keen to find the form that brought him so much success in F2. French Grand Prix, two months later. So here we go. What's going to happen this time? It's that time once again, the final moment. Oh wow, we're doing the whole race. The charge down to turn one. Who will come out on top at Paul Ricard today? We'll find out soon as the French Grand Prix gets underway. The circuit Paul Ricard then, a 3.6 mile track, 25 miles east of Marseille. 15 corners here, six to the left and nine to the right, with the main overtaking chance expected going into turn eight. Top speeds today should be around 205 miles per hour. Here we are then at the circuit Paul Ricard in France, the 10th race of the 2020 Formula One season. And the standings are starting to take some kind of shape, Ant. Yeah, exactly. You've got your big three jostling for position at the top, so no surprises there. A little less predictable in the midfield, though you could make an argument for Williams underperforming somewhat. The two Williams drivers denying each other points, perhaps. Well, it's all to race for, and a lot of the season is left ahead of us. So let's see how it all pans out. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Leclerc, Daniel Kvyat, and Ricardo, Norris, Vettel, Sainz, and Pierre Gasly, Ocon, Ackerman, Devon Butler, and Albon. Bloody hell, that's a bit weird. Stroll, Raikkonen, Kevin Magnussen, and Aidan Jackson. Giovinazzi and Roman Grosjean sits at the back of the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. I don't know if you saw it there, a bit of a weird graphic there. I don't know what went on there. Not quite had the start of the season we'd hoped for. But we've got a chance to make up some ground today. Try to keep your nose clean and show us what you've got. Good luck, Aiden. So there we go, starting P18. I guess the challenge is just to get points. That's what I'm going to aim for anyway, but... Let's get going. P18. And we're off. Oh, it was a slow start again. I haven't got the start set up yet properly. Not like I was last last year. I was quite good at starts, but I got plenty of time to. But thanks for being here, Liam. Appreciate it. Oh, it's hey, Upstroll's taking a bit of the track with him there. Got a good run out there. Yeah, it does look like 16th. And a drag racer stroll going down this long straight. Can I break later? I can. I've got the move done. Right behind Ackerman, now our best friend. Got a good run off here on Ackerman. I go round the outside of him. Collision with Ackerman, I've got off. Got the move done up to P13, chasing a Red Bull in Albon. I wasn't a fav fan favourite of him to be honest. I'd much prefer Perez um, at Red Bull. That's a different story. Quite a lot of memes. Penrith! That's one of my favourite ones. Got the move done on Albon, have I? I have. Don't look. Well, I'm looking at my iPad, but don't look at electronics whilst driving because I just went wide there as soon as I looked. Especially if you're going this quick in a car. Going around Ocon, around the outside. He's still there. We've got the move done. So that's one Renault overtaken. 
We're up into P11. AIs. He's holding me up a treat here. I'm going trying to go around to the outside. I think that's yeah, that time we've got the move done on him. But fair play, he held me up what, two or three times there? Now we're behind the three cars I need to overtake. Going around the outside. No, not enough traction, but in the drag race with ERS and DRS, it's looking good. Side by side, but I've got the inside. I'm going to go defensive. Just cut him off around the thing, but he's tried to switch back, but I've cut that off, I think. There we go. You're in the top 10 now. Keep it up. up to P9. With the two cars I need to overtake dead ahead. What lap are we on? Lap 4. Plenty of time. Could be a decent little finish here. Around the outside of Ricardo. Gone wide. DRS on. Gonna save my ERS for a bit. To a much better Friday afternoon, really. But Norris is holding me up. Go down the insides. There we go. And we even get DRS for good luck. There we go. Hold me back. I've got a good runoff on that using ERS around the bends. Going to keep to the racing line, go around the outside, sit in Duck Kvyat. Up to P6, best of the rest. I'll tell you what I do like about this game the handling, especially on controller. Oh my lord, it's so much better. I actually feel in control of the car, and I've only just started, I already feel more in control of this um, F1 game than the last F1 game. Here we go, overtaking Vettel as well, on the same straight, he's pushed me wide, so I'm going to take that driving line back, and up into P4 we are. So here we go, going in for our pit stop on lap 7, in P2, wonder where we'll come out. Good two second stop. Oh wow, we've come out in P3. We jump Bottas in the pit lane. Um, that was a bit of a madness from our pit crew. We literally jumped Bottas in the pit lane and we're now in a podium spot. Just need to be patient. There we go, got the move done into the final corner of the lap and got the DRS to help us get away. Nice move. And off we go. And here we go. Using ERS, using DRS. Closing up to him, which way are we going to go? We're going to go left. Going to have to break late, but no, Hamilton did well enough. He defended well enough to make me have to go tight around that bend and slow down. And it looks like he's going to do the same here. Squeaky bum time indeed. Here we go. Am I going to do it? Going to go for it down the insides. Wheel to wheel. I've had to give him the space. It's tight. It's very tight. But I want this race win. Break early. Get a better line. Too good of a line. I've had to break again for him. Come on, now's the time. Now's the time. ERS early, round this bend. Getting ready for the DRS. Here we go. Here we go. Got the DRS. Come on. That Mercedes is fast, but we've got the DRS on him. I'm going to keep as close as we can. Break early. And there we go. We've got the move done. Now we've just got to hold on to it for a lap. Here we go. We're going to win the French Grand Prix with Aidan Jackson. He's going to go close to the wall, celebrate with his team. Across the line. 
P1. That's a race win. You've really been great today. We've witnessed some great battles around Paul Ricard today, and they've taken a fantastic win. Business as usual for the big three, but a bit of a reshuffle in the midfield here in France. That's certainly much better from Williams. Frankly, they should be in the mix more often. On a good day, they're as good as anyone in that midfield pack. And they've certainly proved it today. Thank you, Liam. Appreciate the support. Williams have put in an incredible performance out on the track today. I'm glad all the hard work of theirs has finally paid off. Look at that. P1. I'm going to celebrate with a sip of my beer. Not 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 um, rich enough to have champagne on a Friday evening, unfortunately. But here we are. Maybe one day I'll be rich enough if I stick with this streaming. I'm only joking. I only do it for fun. Great work out there today. Oh, it's clear. Aiden, congratulations. Thank you. Got more than on the podium, love. I won the bloody race. It's a team effort. It's a team effort. I'm just the one behind the wheel. It was an amazing result today, and I think everyone deserves it. I'm just pleased I could bring it home for them. Well, it's such a great result, especially since it's your first season in Formula One. Would you say you found your feet now since the jump to F1? Um, change is always difficult. And look, you never know what's around the corner. Change is always difficult, but I think I'm settling in. The team seems happy at least. So there's no current tensions within the team. We've all seen that you and Casper have locked hard so far this season. I think we're gonna put with this. I think there's always gonna be a settling in period, doesn't matter who you're paired up with. There's always going to be a settling in period. It doesn't matter who you're paired up with. You've got to have a strong character to do what we do. We may have our differences, but I'm sure we'll get there. Appreciate your time. Jackson puts in a solid performance of the French Grand Prix to firmly cement Williams as a contender in the crowded middle pack of the F1 grid, much to the delight of the team's management of fans. French Grand Prix post race. Vettel announces Ferrari departure. Ryan. Aiden. Just so you know, there's a full team meeting in 20 minutes. No worries. We just want to review our strategy while the race is still fresh in our minds. Right, okay. I'll see you there. Uh, listen, uh, while you're on, I just wanted to say that was some solid driving out there today. I'm impressed. I appreciate it. Thanks, Brian. Put it this way. It's been noticed. Well done, kid. I'll see you in the meeting. It's been noticed. Bloody hope so. I just won the race, but... What result? Yeah, thank you, Jeff. Oh, Mum's phoning now. Hey, Mum. Hello, love. Just calling to say well done, as usual. You okay? Thanks, Mum. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Real good. I think I delivered today. I thought so. You think? And I think the neighbours probably did too. <laughs> I couldn't stop shouting. <laughs> oh, not again. I'm so proud of you, Aiden. Hey, it's Silverstone soon. So does that mean you'll be home for a few days? Probably. I'll try and get over for a day or two, either side of race weekend. You know, Silverstone was always your dad's favorite track. I know. You're still coming to the race, right? Do you really think I'd miss out on the VIP treatment? Of course I'm coming. 
I just wish it wasn't on my own, you know? That's yeah, a bit I sad. Know, but I'll be there, and I can't wait to see you. Me too. Anyway, I won't keep you. I imagine you want to go and celebrate. Well done again. Love you. Love you too, Mum. Speak soon. What character? What a woman she is. Sounds very nice. Chapter 4. With Williams continuing to show signs of improvement, the F1 world turns his eyes to Silverstone, a real test for rookie Aidan Jackson as he returns home with hopes of impressing the crowd and earning the support of the historic circuit. British Grand Prix two weeks later. Let's get into it. Oh, we're here. Now you can see Fernando Alonso makes a comeback. Got an email. Got a phone. Unknown. Oh, who's this then? Hello. Hello, mate. Oh. Who is this? It's Butler, isn't it? Come on, keep yeah, up. Yeah, it's Devin Butler. Butler. Oh. Same. How did you get this number? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Listen, listen. I just wanted to pass on a bit of friendly advice. Oh. Now, it's always tricky racing on your home track. The pressure, all the fans watching, it's a nightmare. Right, yeah, I imagine it is. But if you keep your cool, you stay focused, you will get through it, okay? Just just imagine it's a different circuit on Why the Why are we here? Can I not hang then, up? When your race does fall apart, it'll be a lot easier to deal with. Yeah, uh, great advice. I knew you'd think so. <laughs> anyway, good luck out there today. Just, just try and make it to the end, eh? <laughs> Ta -ta. Oh, uh, yeah. Bloody. Good luck to you. Ta -ta. See you. I'll see you later. I wish you could hang up on him. Oh, that's good. Your mum. That's PA with. The PA is with my mum. So that's always good. Capitalising on a fantastic Q3, Aiden Jackson is enjoying one of his finest career performances when a front ring puncture threatens to ruin his chances of a top five finish. With friends and family in the stands and the crowd behind him, Jackson sets his sights on salvaging what he can from the race. British Grand Prix mid-race. Advance. Oh god, that's a bad puncture. Tires are gone. Copy, Aiden. Box, box. Copy. Let's oh, just minimize God. the damage. Oh, God. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. That's not fun. Right. Come in at the end of this lap. Look at the tire. The tire's glitching out. Okay, we've made it to the pits at least. Oh, we're P8. Ugh, that's not good. Well, P7, what? Oh, right, I understand. P8. This is not good. There's Butler and there's Ackerman. Coming around now. 1.9 second pit stop. Well, we've got to finish 10th or buff, and we're 16th, 17th. Oh my lord! I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one. Let's see what we can do. Oh, just going round. Oh, great maneuver! You made it look easy. For now, anyway, before Grosjean gets back, now we've got the move done into P16. The Ben coming up here that I'm not too good at. But I've caught up with Stroll, looks like he's holding up Ricardo a treat. Right onto the back of Ricardo, going on the inside, wheel to wheel. Can we do it? I don't think so. I'm going to stick my foot in there, though. We've got the move done. Just keep your tyre in there, they can't turn in on you. And here we go, we're going for the move on Stroll, we've got it done what a double overtake that was, competitive racing from both of us, up to P14 next man Zakaman
going alongside Ackerman. Oh, he's put his arm up at him. Bit of friction there. We've overtaken him up to P13. Vettel ahead. Had to slow down a bit. Again, look how slow Vettel's going. That's full. That's meant to be a full speed corner, and he's dilly dallying. Ackerman's making the move on me. Round the outside, yes. The soft tyres versus the hard. I had the advantage there. On Vettel, I'm up to P12, and that was a brilliant sector I just did then. Even if I say so myself, and we're right in the back of Albon now. We're in DRS territory. Just got to be patient here. I say that, and then um, that works. <laughs> so we're up to P11, and Mr. Butler's up ahead. So if we can get to P10, we'll get two points because we've got fastest lap as well, and another fastest lap of 132. Catch up to Butler at a rate of not. Bit of contact with him. Go on, get out of the way. There's a word I want to say I'm not allowed to say. And we've got the move done. And we've got the DRS to get away. There we go. On the back of Kvyat with DRS. Should be an easy pass there. And it is. Pressure tyres, softer tyres, ERS, DRS, everything you need really. Heinz is holding the Claire up nicely and we're up at the back now. Can I go around the outside? Oh, I've dipped the tyre in the gravel, that wasn't good. Let's luckily I held on to it though. Watch, I have to slam my foot right on the brake round here. Look, they don't go all out here. That's fine because I will. Around the outside if he doesn't block me off. I had to get out of that. And that. I'm trying, I'm trying. Here we go, now. Here's the time. Me and Leclerc should both catch science up here. I've just realised I haven't got much ERS left. Leclerc's going round that outside. Leclerc's done it, I haven't done it. That's, that's held me up a bit there. Can I go down the inside of science? I can. Up to P8. I don't think I'm going to catch Ock on, but I could definitely overtake the Claire. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Remember, this is the year where Ferrari was slow. Lad, this is F1 2020. We're going down the inside. Ooh, nice move, even though I say so myself. Up to P7. I think that's the best we can do here today, after that earlier puncture. Going across the line to finish the P7, which I'm very happy with. Bearing in mind we did have a puncture. Brilliant stuff from Red Bull today. What a superb victory! What a race for young Aiden Jackson. If he can keep this up, he's got a long, promising career in front of him. Absolutely. He'd have been gutted about that puncture. Imagine what kind of challenge he'd have been able to make without it. You've got to give it to him though. He gritted his teeth and pulled it back. Great driving. Now whisper it quietly, but things seem to be on the up for Williams Aiden Jackson. Want to watch. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams, and they're certainly proving themselves.
Okay, chapter four. Despite suffering a puncture mid-race, Jackson manages to overcome the odds to earn a brilliant points finish for Williams at the British Grand Prix. British Grand Prix post-race. Great teamwork today. Let me know when you're ready, and I'll bring your mum round to see you. That's nice of her. Being rung by Brian. Brian. Well, someone's the hot topic in the press room. Hello, Brian. What do you mean? Oh, come on. There's no need to be so modest. What are you on about, Brian? Oh, after that puncture, everyone thought you'd lost it. But to pull it back and into the points, it's all anyone's talking about. Well, I'm glad the press is starting to take notice. Oh, get used to it. They put a bunch of interviews in your diary for tomorrow. It's why I was calling. Right. Thanks for letting me know. So, don't celebrate too hard tonight, eh? Yeah, all right, Brian. Don't worry. I'm only going to see my mum. Right. Well, each to their own. See you later, Brian. What a nice guy Brian is. What a nice guy. It's a good team principle to have. Um, let's go to the next chapter. So I'm going to end it there. That's um, chapter 3 and 4 done for today. So that's going to go on my YouTube channel. So if you did enjoy it, then please like and subscribe. And goodbye.